Welcome back to the Paranormal Review, and today we have a video called Bigfoot Sighting, Clear Video, Bigfoot Behind Tree. Now before we begin this video, I just want to talk to you guys a little, little bit about my videos. My goal on YouTube, and as a Bigfoot investigator myself, is not to say every Bigfoot video is real. It is to say what we should look for, and how we should determine if a Bigfoot video is real or not. And... Uh, you know, the, all the fake videos out there do a really big disservice to the Bigfoot community because they make the ones, the real believers, look crazy. You know, if you believe that every Bigfoot video is real and you show it to some person who has logical brain or knows anything about nature, they're going to go, oh my gosh, you are a crazy psycho. And then they think that every other person that believes in Bigfoot is crazy. Well, well on the other hand, if you show them an actual video that could be real, it, it, it doesn't make you look crazy because it could be real. But don't just believe everything you see just because it's on the internet, okay, guys? Anyways, let's get started with this video. If you want me to say <laughs> this one's for sure real, please leave now because <laughs> this one is uh, obviously sketchy at best. Anyways, um, Michael Johnson put this up April 10th, 2016. Saw something weird in the tree line, sent the kids in, and came back out to look. I think I startled it, but it was still there. My friends say it was a Sasquatch because they're because we are in Maine, but I'm not from here, so I'm definitely not a Bigfoot believer. Apparently, Maine is a huge Bigfoot hotbed. A lot of big the Bigfoot videos happen in Maine. The Bigfoot culture here is so big, people have funny Bigfoot crossings signs on their mailboxes. After I saw the creature, I talked to a few people about Bigfoot. Apparently, Sasquatch is a more common term around here than Bigfoot is. Okay, guys, the first thing you notice about this video is it's highly optimized for search engines. Uh, so many keywords in there. Maine is mentioned like five or six times. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, five or six times. Um, Bigfoot culture. Bigfoot crossing signs. Funny Bigfoot. Right? So that's my first suspicious thing is there's so many. I mean, everyone, everyone wants their content to be found, so maybe that's legit. Both watch the video. All right, why is he filming? He says that he he says that he saw uh, somewhere the tree line sent the kids back in and came back out. Well, did he was he scared at first and then sent the kids back in because it was scary? Because this video, he does not act scared at all. Alright, so what you'll notice in the very beginning of this video is he pops up behind this tree, curves around here, points the camera right at this other tree over here, and, the, and then the Bigfoot pops out right at that moment. Now, if you put the kids away and come out to look for a Bigfoot, wouldn't he be looking around for the Bigfoot? It's almost as if he, he knows that it's going to be right behind that tree. Instead of coming out here, looking around, and then all of a sudden it pops out behind the tree, and then he shifts the camera over to that tree. No, instead, it's like it's like he had almost come out behind this tree, found it, came back behind this tree, and then was like, okay, well, I'll make this video even better. No, no. It, it's not that. It's that he knew that creature was there. Watch the video. Boom, and then it appears behind the tree. Okay, look at the size of the creature. I mean, it's kind of hard to judge because we're kind of far away from that hill, but it almost looks like a one of his kids almost. But like I said, we can't judge for sure because we don't know how big this tree is. We don't know how far around it is. I mean, it looks like it's only 8 to 10 inches around at the most. I'm not sure, which is a pretty uh, small waistline. <laughs> but we don't know for sure. It could be bigger. It could be smaller. We don't have anything to reference it by. All right, so if this is really a big, scary Sasquatch that he was scared of, why is he just standing there filming it? Why isn't he running away? Why, um, why isn't the creature running away or walking away or something? I don't know. I mean, it's true that Bigfoots are supposed to be curious, but I just not buying this one. Also, why does the film end at 26 seconds? The creature was obviously still there. He didn't just turn around and start running away and turn the camera off. There is no exit plan for this video. There's no reason why he exited this video. There's no reason why it stopped filming. Um, I just don't... I just, I'm just not buying this one, guys. I mean, I can't say that there's skin full, uh, costume folds or wrinkles in a costume or something like that. I'm not trying to be a jerk and saying that all Bigfoot videos are fake, but I'm not going to tell you that this one's obviously real because... This is too suspicious, okay? Let's talk about the, the things that makes this one suspicious. The first thing is is he knows right where it is when he starts filming it. Supposedly after he went back into his house and came back out. 
boom, kneel down, there it is. Why does he kneel down? It seems like maybe he kneels down because maybe he wants to make it look bigger. And watch when he's walking. He's walking, walking, and then crouching down. Why would you crouch down unless to make the creature look bigger than it really is? Maybe that's why he's crouching down. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get below this tree line. That could be the reason as well. Um, I'm going to stop talking about this one, guys, because I don't think this one's really real. It, it just... There's nothing I can say that this, that this one's real. There's too many suspicious things than there are realistic things. So I'm going to have to say this one is definitely a hoax. He knew right where it was. He crouches down to make it look bigger. Unless it is that tree branch he's trying to get below. I don't know, but it looked perfectly fine before he crouched down to me. Right? I mean, it, yeah, you can still see it without, without that. Yeah, and then he crouches down. Anyways, and then there's no ending to the video. He doesn't run away scared. His camera doesn't die. <laughs> you know, Alan, how uh, much I like that excuse. And uh, the creature doesn't run away. There's no reason for him to stop filming. So why does he stop filming if this is like Bigfoot? You know, no proof of Bigfoot on Earth. So why would you stop filming that by choice? Anyways, guys, until next time, please subscribe. Send me your footage in and we'll talk to you guys later.